Leo Fausch, assistant boys basketball coach of the Lake City Tigers, now joins us. Leo, thanks for your time. I really appreciate you joining us. Yeah. And I understand 39 years you've been with the program. Tell, tell me about some of the things you've learned about basketball, especially at the high school level, through your 39 years. Oh, I don't know where I would begin. Uh, yeah, actually, it's 38 years as a B or JV coach, and I had one year or two years of ninth grade when I first uh, came to Lake City. Oh, let's see. I think the key is I've been through uh, oh, how many head coaches? Well, first of all, Coach Snyder, and he, I, that must be 20 some years. And then I had uh, Coach Berg, and now Coach Sweeney. So from when I played through all these coaches, I, I've seen every offense, defense, and uh, they've kind of adapted to that. And what have some of the highlights been? I mean, through your long career, I'm sure you've had plenty of highlights. What are, if, if you had to name a couple, what are some that, you, you, that stick out the most? Oh, I was with Coach Snyder last night, and we were uh, reminiscing that our first district title happened in uh, 1974. And since that time, I think we've oh, accomplished probably uh, at least 13 times, I think, where we've won the either district or subsection. And there's at least three or four times where we've maybe come in second. So out of my 38, nine years, you can tell a lot of the, uh, our end finality has, has come to this, I mean, this almost state championship or state qualifying game. And there's a lot of turnover in, in the business of coaching. How have you been able to stay in the same spot for so long? Well, somebody asked me that at Rochester just the other night, why I never really took the head coaching job. And I think, uh, well, first of all, Coach Snyder stayed here a long time. And when he uh, retired, I knew my window of retirement wasn't too far from that. And uh, so then I kind of stayed below the radar. And when Coach Berg took it, I thought, thought he was going to stay with it you know, a long time. I wanted the program to stay in good hands. And uh, obviously Berg went another route, which is fine. And then Coach Sweeney, say, took over. So we've had longevity of good, say, coaches uh, in the program. And uh, I think that's a lot of our success. So 39 years, how many more? Another 39 under, uh, under your belt still? I already told Coach Sweeney at one of the, <laughs> one of the uh, games there that, you know, this could be my last game. And he said he didn't want to hear anything about that <laughs> right now. So it's kind of one year at a time. Well, where does this I'm, team... I'm kind of like the Brett Favre, you know. <laughs> one, one year at a time, and I don't yeah. have to decide until uh, later in the summer. Until after training camp. After training in. camp, right. And where does this team compare to some of the good teams that you've had in the past? At the present time, they have all the qualities of a, of a Lake City, uh, a great team. We talked about... Great defense, they're doing that. They're improving every game. And their offense is getting more and more patient because we know as the games go on here, shot selection and less turnovers. So anyway, all the ingredients of those other great teams, this team is coming on strong right now. And something I kind of find interesting is how the games change over a course of the time. How have you seen the game of basketball change from when you first started to now? Oh boy. It's changed a lot, but in a lot of ways, I think when you get the championship kind of teams, a lot of the things stay the same. I mean, you got to play, like I said before, great defense, patient offense, you know, with shot selection, less turnovers, mental toughness. So those qualities haven't changed, even though the style might. Mm -hmm. It still comes down to those same things. You got to do it at crunch time and tournament time and play your best ball at the end of the year. And that's what these kids are doing now. We've won, I don't know, Coach Winnie, how many in a row? Seven or eight? Eight. Yeah, we've won eight in a row now. I mean, the kids are playing confident uh, and they're doing all, all the things that we have taught them to do. You know, are the kids 39 years ago any different to work with than the kids of today? 
maybe besides you know the texting on the bus on the way home? Oh, all those kind of <laughs> things have changed there. I mean, oh, I'd have to start early in the morning with the new kids have done <laughs> on the block today. But they're still they're still dedicated and put in a lot of time, and uh, they still want to succeed. Great, coach. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. We'll be right back after this.